This is the man who will steer Sudan for the next two years until elections can be held. After replacing Awad Ibnouf as head of the Transitional Council, General Abdel Fattah Bahan has already announced the cancelling of the curfew, the release of prisoners, as well as a pledge to promote human rights. Honourable citizens, a military council will be established to represent the sovereign state. A civilian government will then be formed and agreed upon between all sides. News of this latest change brought crowds out once again in the capital, with the jubilant celebrations running late into the night. People here rejected Ibnouf's leadership because of his shady links to the Darfur genocide. Locals jumped with joy alongside the men who helped orchestrate Thursday's coup, which brought the longtime president's house of cards tumbling down after four long months of unrest. We're very happy with this change, and in order for our happiness to be complete, Omar al-Bashir and his comrades must be made to face justice, international justice. General Bahan was one of the military's top brass who actually came out to meet demonstrators face to face in recent days, a move which has earned him some respect. But protest organizers are, however, still digging in their heels. They say the placards and the flags will continue to be brandished until the general's proposed civilian transitional council is set up. The Islamic